go. And we're recording and we're live streaming and we're out there. I wish all these things would happen at once, but they don't. Okay. Hello. I'm wearing a t shirt under this. Okay. I'm wearing this because it is so goddamn cold in this apartment. I can't believe it. We're freezing our asses off here. And it's only, all right, let's see here, uh, only 36 degrees. We shouldn't be feeling that cold, but they don't turn on the radiator here during the day. And uh, we, uh, well, you'll see, even uh, even Marjorie is all uh, bundled up. But anyway, let me admit everybody here who's waiting to come on. And uh, let me put on my earphones so I can hear them. Oops, let me turn up my microphone a little bit here. There we go. We're ready to go. All right, here we are. Ah, yes. Hello to uh, Rick Sheckman. Hello, Rick. Hello. Hello, Scott Boddicker. Hello. Hello, Edward Berger. Hello. <laughs> and hello to Len Lafristo. And hello. Jeff Stein is, of course, uh, uh, always having trouble signing on, but he'll <laughs> he'll get on. He's got his video. Now he'll get his audio going. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Got to get Steve Bender in here. And Mike Chisholm has just joined us. Uh, boy, a lot of people just uh, all in here to have fun today. Uh, boy, you've grown your beard out a bit, haven't you, Mike? Yeah, it's getting a little unruly. Yeah, so, yeah, unruly is to put it mildly. Yeah, my wife is. My wife loves it, but I, uh, I told her I'm putting my finger, my foot down this week, and I'm getting it cleaned up. Gee, uh, from what I hear from Shecky, uh, Dave Letterman grew his beard to get his family pissed off at him. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. My wife's the opposite. She, really? uh, boy, she loves it. She well, loves it. So won't let me cut my hair or my beard right now. Mine was starting to get long and Marjorie was yelling about it. So <laughs> yeah. my wife gets, my wife gets mad when I trim mine too. She likes it bushy. Really? And, I just, and I just trimmed it a little. Yeah. Really? Marjorie just, well, here, you can ask her yourself. Here we go. <laughs> uh, she hates it. You, you hate my, my beard getting longer. Don't, Oh, look at her. She looks like, <laughs> He looks like one of the Donner Party. <laughs> How cold is it over there? Jeez. Turn the heat on, Alex. Cold. I didn't pay the bill. <laughs> Not that bad today. It was way worse the past well, two days. Let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Uh, the landlord is in charge of the heat. Right? Oh, yeah. And since we're only paying five hundred dollars a month now, <laughs> no heat for you. The heat doesn't come with it, you know. That's just such a foreign thing for people on the West Coast or whatever that somebody else is in charge of your heat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Although when I was I was in San Francisco, believe it or not, uh, in the building we had a radiator. In the city, huh? Yeah, maybe. yeah. But I don't know if they ever turned them on. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> Well, in order to turn on a radiator, I think you have to, it's got to be over what, over 55 or something like that, or under 55 degrees. And it never got that way in San Francisco very often. So mm -hmm. you know, we didn't need the radiator, but we certainly need them here. Wow. We got our full house today, boy. We got uh, Mandy O'Brien is, is joining us. Uh, life is good here at the old pop-up show. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, hello, Mandy. You're at home. Hello. It's my holiday. It's yeah. Martin Luther King Day. We're at home too, just cold. Wait a minute. She's she's a little. Um, uh, she's a, she's a, a little bit behind us for some reason. Say something now. Watch what happens. Hello. Oh, now it's I'm, working. Oh. You were off it there. It was kind of staticky sounding. Oh yeah, it was, it was, it was fine. Why are you at home? It's a holiday. Uh, it's a holiday. Oh, it's a holiday. I forgot. It's Martin Luther King. I went to work. I did go to work. I just got back. I went in about noon. I just to do some stuff. Just yeah. To be caught up. Betty White's it, birthday too. What? <laughs> it's what? Whose birthday? It was going to be Betty White's birthday today too. Yeah. 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 I think we should celebrate Betty White's birthday. Oh, hi. 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 I know Mandy's there, but hi, just to let you know, I joined also. <laughs> you, wait a minute, you joined? No. What, what, what do you mean? You, 
You're ignoring him. He's oh. upset. Oh, I was. Has gonna... Mandy joined? <laughs> <laughs> No, I was going to get to you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I see. I'm going to get to you. God, would I forget you? Come on. You're one of my lo most loyal callers, both to the night show and to this show. See, if, Ma if Mandy and I got married and I took her name, I would be Brian O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cute. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I want to talk Spock, is Spot Boddicker? Scott Boddicker. <laughs> Here's Spot. Uh, Scott Boddicker. Because what? something happened in your town that was big news last week. Uh, Saturday, wasn't it? Sunday? Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, Saturday, yeah. the Proud Sunday. Boy leader. Oh, in, I think that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. got indicted in Plano, Texas. Yeah, in the federal court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you hear, did you see what his real first name is? No, no but I'm afraid to ask. Is this Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell me his last name is <laughs> no, no, it's, Blue. Uh, uh, it's, it's Elmer Stewart Rhodes the third. Oh, really? Okay. The third. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're a proud boy and you're going to gun lessons, do you take them from Elmer? <laughs> <laughs> you know. No. He. I wonder what. I wondered what his last name was. Was it Glue? <laughs> <laughs> because I you was, were. I was, I was actually going to go to the courthouse and stand out there with a sign. Good job, Elmer, but. <laughs> oh, boy. That's as far, by the way, as into politics as we get on this program. Hey, can, was that the guy who was wearing the, the stuff on his head? No, 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 no. Elmer Fudd. That was the, the, the what is it? Shaman. on Shaman. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boy. I get my insurrection is mixed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's so many of them. You need a program. And we need the claim cards. Well, I have a flaccid insurrection. So, <laughs> how you doing today, Shecky? I talked to Shecky earlier today. I'm fine. <clears throat> By the way, I checked that OAN thing I had told you about. Yeah, I know you sent it to me. Yeah, they had a carriage agreement with them. They're not going to renew. They don't own a piece of it. Oh, they don't own a piece of it. Yeah. Okay. We, were talking, not, we, were about, this, we don't. Agreement. We don't want to get in really into politics. But OAN, which is a very right-wing, pro-Trump network, has been dropped by uh, AT and T. Direct TV. Uh, and they own Direct TV. And this is a real blow to them because that's the biggest amount of carriage they have. So. It's, or the biggest amount of cash flow they have. Yeah. Cash flow? Okay. Uh, you know, what, whatever DirecTV pays them per yeah, well, year get, to carry I, the channel. Is, is DirecTV going to send that back to their viewers? I mean, to their uh, subscribers? <laughs> like 15 cents or something? You know? Of course not. You know, the thing is, you know, you guys, you, you all pay for cable, right? Anybody yeah. here not pay for cable? No. Don't fall on Do you know You're which not. channel gets the most money from you? Yeah, you've told us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, then don't don't spoil the joke. I won't spoil it. It isn't a joke, actually. It is a joke. I'm gonna guess PBS. No. Mm -mm. What's okay. a channel you've probably never watched? <laughs> Fox <laughs> News. <laughs> 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 I've never watched it. <laughs> Lifetime. Oh, God. Lifetime. It's about, it's about $6 a month, I think. Wow. Per customer? Yeah. That's $6 awesome. a month? Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess they, do, they do a lot of, uh, you know, original programming, I think. On yeah, it's all about Christmas. Christmas series. Well, like Christmas time, you get all those Christmas movies. Yeah, 8 million. Well, that's Christmas Hallmark movies. Channel. That's yeah, Hallmark. That's Hallmark. Yeah. You're right. You're yeah. right. No, Lifetime doesn't give you squat. <laughs> now, Mandy, you're a female. Do you ever watch Lifetime, which is supposed to be like a women's network? No, but my ex-husband, I'd walk in the room. He's always watching one of those cheesy romantic shows. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Oh, and, he, and, he, and he wasn't gay? 
That's what I was going to say. So you're actually kidding. Yeah. I mean, I you're guess watching for the women. Watching in our relationship. So you <laughs> watching so, yeah. Lifetime. Wow. No, I don't watch that stuff. Now, was he a romantic in real life? No. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. So he was just seeing what not to do. <laughs> I, mean, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, he didn't know. From I don't know why he watched him. He would always just say, "Well, there's nothing else on." You know, I've, I've seen everything, or there's no movies. This is it. He also watched a lot of old movies, which you know, that's yeah. Tom Turner. Classic, so. And yeah. number two is ESPN. Which is about five dollars a month. Really? Oh, yeah, that, wow. was, that was going to be my first guess. You know? Well, at least I watch ESPN. Well, also though, also we pay for ESPN Plus. <laughs> well, we you know I get it through a package deal yeah. with Disney, uh, uh, and uh, which you can watch, Shaggy. Uh, yeah. Which brings us around to, uh, and this isn't a, really a political discussion. This is sports, and I get to keep my sports <laughs> Emmy <laughs> for another year. Uh, Djokovic. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, even yeah. Marjorie, who loves tennis and would love to see Djokovic play, was glad he was thrown out of the country. Absolutely. And yeah. Wimbledon and French are all, all already saying he can't come into the country unless he's vaccinated. Mm. Good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely good. You know he won't vaccinate. He refuses to he's vaccinate. Shit. Yeah. You know. And he's got a temper. Yeah. And he blames everything on his team. On his team? Yeah. On like, his team. Yeah. They filled they filled out the forms incorrectly. Right. Uh -huh. And after he was diagnosed positive, he went out on a lecture tour. Well, what was it? There was one. Oh, you mentioned something, Shecky. That's kind of interesting. He was deported from Australia. Yep. Get out of our country, you moron. Okay. And what happens? They put him on a plane. Right. This is fly commercial. <laughs> and he has to fly commercial and to Dubai. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> then where he went from Dubai to? To Serbia. Where, there's, whatever. there's no direct flight to Serbia. How many flights do you think you would have from I'll, Australia I'll, to I'll, Serbia? I'll, this is my theory why he went. Why he went to Sir? Why he went to uh, um, Dubai? Dubai. They would they allow him in. They would allow Alex. him in, yeah. and he could catch his plane. He you know, he couldn't. He couldn't land at Heathrow, I would guess. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> that is better. They go there to practice. Where Dubai? Yes. Why you they, like to sweat they, your ass off? Why? Well, because Australia's in the summer now. Oh, okay. So they go there to get the feeling of summer. Yeah, exactly. Why don't they just go to Australia to practice? They do then too. And they play little tournaments around the country. Yeah. And why are you all bundled up like that? I know it's cold in this apartment. I explained it before. Well, that's why I'm bundled up until there's heat. It's fucking cold yeah, in here. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, Mar well, Marjorie posted yesterday or today that it was 11 degrees or something. Yeah, that it was, was cold. cold. Yeah. Yeah. Cold. And it's cold. not that cold now. It's uh, 36 it's degrees 40s. at 413. We got snow yesterday. What? Georgia got snow yesterday. Georgia got They're snow? They're expecting snow here tonight. Again. Do you normally get snow down there? I guess you do. Sometimes. I don't think we got any last year. But I was just afraid. I was just glad it wasn't ice. We lose power when we get ice. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you, we all lose power because somehow, if, if we lose power in New York, and I'm surprised, Shecky, that they don't put the the wires under the ground, <laughs> so that when it gets when it snows like that, you still get electricity. Back east, it's back east. It's above ground almost everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's my wife lived in uh, in Hartford, and, it, it, and they got when they got snow, everything all the power went out. Shecky, yeah, why well. isn't it underground? Is there a reason? Who's going to pay for it? <laughs> well, yes. that's good. New York is all underground. No, it isn't. Here in, in the city, yes. Yeah. Not, well, not in my neighborhood. But I'm wondering if we ever, because we have the subways and so on, that's where the electricity travels through. If we've ever had electrical on poles here. Yes. 
probably back in the day. I remember when I first came to New York, the, there were electricity on poles. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yes. All right. But our electricity never, we, we're, we're expecting a big snowstorm tonight. To really well, to they said last of course, night. we expected one last night. And this morning when I woke up, Marjorie, came, I didn't even, I didn't look out the window. I slept like 10 hours or something. And I, I walk into the office where she's working and she goes, have you looked outside? There's 11 <laughs> inches of snow. And I went out and I looked and I then yelled back at her, fuck you. Because <laughs> there was nothing out there. Well, we had a dusting at eight o'clock last night and the dusting was gone by 8.45. Yeah. What happened, we had a guy across the street, at the, I told you this, at the bodega sweeping in front of his place and getting rid of the snow. And if he had just waited another 10 minutes, it rained and washed away all the snow. Alex, have you figured, have you thought that maybe she thinks this is 11 inches? <laughs> <laughs> That's they what were, I tried to tell her. We were told that this was 11 inches. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be it. Yeah, she was very, very bad at uh, geometry. Uh, anyway. Well, I said to Alex, they've come up with a new term now. Bomb cyclones. Yeah. For snowstorms. yeah. Is it cyclone bomb or bomb cyclone? Bomb, bomb cyclone. cyclone. Bomb cyclone. What is that? Something they made up. Oh, yeah. okay. So we're getting another blizzard, which Shecky always refers to as El Blizzardo to me. Well, that's Dave. Uh, that was Dave said that? You used to use that? Yeah. Yeah, that, that comes from Dave. Yeah, well, Shecky always says to me, uh, did you get, it was a real El Blizzardo last night, wasn't it? You know, then half the time when the weather guy tells you we're going to get 11 inches of snow, I don't know. People are, you know, it's like if you have something on, let's say, Channel 7, and it's like, you know, they do that one minute cut in. Yeah. Bomb cyclone they... coming Sunday. Details at four. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So they do the same thing as they do here where everybody runs to the store and buys all the bread and all the milk to yeah. make milk. Yeah, you sandwiches. never had milk or bread in your lifetime before I, until I mean, they said. Yeah. I, they they I actually once... predicted it. And so everybody did that. But yeah, we yeah. did actually get snow. But I, I just go to the liquor store. I, I, I'm wondering, uh, you know, if, if they're ever going to have a headline like uh, world is coming to the end tomorrow uh, is coming to an end in an hour. Details at 11. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they always tell you like something horrible is going to happen, but they're not going to tell you till 11 o'clock. Well, or night, someone died. The other night, you know. the other night when we had but, four inches, they were talking to talking as if it was a blizzard. Yeah. Shaggy, what were you going to say? No, like they'll tease the star of show X has died. Right. And they don't mention whoever it is until one minute before the new show ends and you never heard of the person. Because <laughs> right. they were like the 23rd lead on some sitcom <laughs> nobody ever watched. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, today is Betty White's birthday, by the way. Forget Martin Luther King. It's Betty White's birthday. She would have been 100 today. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I know that my mother lived to be 100. And she died at 100 and a half. Because I think as soon as she went over the finish line, she said, that's it. Time to go. You know, I'm I made it to 100. You know. Uh, and uh, Betty White just couldn't make it. Although I hear she had a stroke four weeks no. before. Uh, yeah. She died. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. I I really liked her. I've been watching Hot in Cleveland. <laughs> and, and what am I right? You've watched it, Charlie, right? No. Anybody here watched Hot in Cleveland? No, I, I should. It's a, it's a good show, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, it's well written. It's actually surprisingly well written for a for a sitcom like that. Yeah. I love Valerie Bertinelli. She's she's yeah. my girl. But I mean, it's it's a wonderful <laughs> show, and she was so perfect in it. I mean, at eighty eight, her timing was there. Yeah. And obviously, she had to you know memorize her lines and stuff. She supposedly was always the one who had them all memorized. Mm. You know, so 
Uh, she was wonderful. She was just the wonderful. one that gets me. The one that just keeps making me sad. And I, it wasn't like I was such a huge, huge major fan. Was was Bob Saget? Yeah. I just <clears throat> I just can't shake that. I guess it's because he was young. He's only ten yeah. years older than me. He was the white dad. Yeah. And, and everybody says when you hear all these stars talking, I mean, he would call people and just say, hey, I love you. Just hope you're doing good. You know, and we always think about telling everybody, you know, and just a quick text to people. But he was one of those people that really did that and really cared about his yeah. friends. Yeah. He was he was a, he was a really nice guy. I you know, I can't say that I knew him well. But he came and did my show a lot in San Francisco. And then uh, once when I was at Sirius XM and, uh, you know, we, we reminisce like two friends reminisce, you know, uh, and I really I really liked the guy. The guy was nobody ever had anything bad to say about him. You know, as I as I as I said to uh, Bubs the other day, with Larry Bubbles Brown, I said, you know, nobody ever had anything bad to say about Bob Saget. And you can't say as much for me. <laughs> and i said and, and by the way nobody has anything bad to say about larry bubbles brown either but when he goes nobody will care so yes. you know oh, we'll care we'll care, we'll care, care but, you know care. he didn't make it to that level he didn't become america's dad or appear on some lame-ass sitcom yeah, well, so Bill Cosby. Who he was what? Bill Cosby became america's dad look what happened to him yeah. <laughs> well, he was deposed as America's dad uh, due to his penis. And uh, 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 Saget replaced him. I just I actually think of Bob Saget more for some reason, America's Funniest Videos. I don't know mm. why. I just, I, I guess that's maybe where I first saw well, him. Well, like, you know, you may not have. Him. Yeah, you, know? you may not have been into sitcoms or that sitcom didn't appeal to you or whatever, yeah. but some show like that may have. And he was the host of that because of his participation in Full House. So yeah. as long as Full House was on, he had that franchise. So he had one for about seven years and one for about eight years. So, Stand up comedy was the best. Yeah, yeah well, he was so favorite thing, though, is the reaction when people saw Saget stand up for the first time. Having yeah. only seen him full house, I love people's reaction. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, what I love about him is he is the most apologetic, dirty comic I ever met. He's the dirtiest <laughs> comic I ever met, but he's apologetic about every dirty joke. Oh, did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, how dare you laugh at that? You know, I mean, and and I he 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 had a nice way of doing it. He nobody was ever upset by how dirty he was. They were just amazed. To everyone from Steve Bender, hey, oh. gotta go tutor. Sorry to leave. Oh, you're you <laughs> well, you haven't even said hardly hello today. Uh, you know, <laughs> you sorry. What, what sorry, are you what are you tutoring? I am tutoring a student helping her with her English paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. As, yeah, it, pay, it pays more than this. So. Say, uh, just, just so we know you're you're good at what you do, say something in English. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Take okay. care. Bye -bye. Getting, you you got to get up here. You got to get up here. I know soon. Okay, because we'll we it. now we now when own the safe. stove. Okay, <laughs> and I'm assuming we're going to own the refrigerator. <laughs> But I'm not coming. There's no heat. Why should I come? Oh, well, <laughs> that's a fair weather friend. <laughs> How about spring? See ya. Bye -bye. Oh, we really like you and your wife, and we want to see you. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're nice people. Nice people. Really nice people. You're all nice people. There's one person here I don't like, except Marjorie, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we don't argue much, do we? Ah, we just I'm not going to respond. Huh? <laughs> no comment. No, no you, comment. In, in fact, I'm very nice. It's she's the only one that when we're in a fight will go, "Fuck you." <laughs> she's the only one. I don't do that. I respect her. I told her yesterday I respect her so much that she can fart without spraying because I will take her farts. That's how much I love her. And believe, well, I don't me, believe me, if you ever had it, were exposed to one of these things, you will think it is the ultimate loving. Okay. <laughs> You've never They're been exposed to having 
in your spare time or, or for Hallmark cards. And she doesn't fart around company. It's it's one. And neither do you. That's what I remember. Remember, remember what was it? Uh, Olivia Dukakis, the actress. Mm-hmm. Right. Olympia. Olympia. Olympia Dukakis. Uh, I can't remember what comic told me he was working with her, and that she kept farting while they were trying to do their scene. Jeez. And he couldn't mention anything because. Do you mention that when somebody farts? Like, <laughs> I just smelled that Olympia. Stop it. No. And that she had a bad problem with her intestinal. She, they, he felt she was dead inside. That bad. You know. She probably was. Yeah. So Shaggy's going on another cruise in June. June. Yeah. It, it, wow. Where are you going? Where are you going to go this time? It's, I think it leaves from can't even remember it's eastern europe you better basically. remember eastern. <laughs> it's eastern europe. i mean i can go i can go get the itinerary i have it in the drawer over there no no you don't have to do that but. It's but it goes europe. down it goes down the danube and then it goes down through eastern europe and ends up in transylvania one of those viking ones like 200 people or something yeah one is um Ama waterways and I forget what the other one is. It's two different ships. Mm. Yeah. Where it's do you nice. fly to to go to start out? What? Where Where do you have to fly to go to get on the ship? I'm thinking it's Bucharest. I could be wrong. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not worrying about it right now because right. my travel agent after the last cruise, where I say I'm thinking of canceling this thing, goes. Don't cancel it now. Wait a couple of months, and then we'll get a doctor to give you an excuse, and your insurance will pay you back. Mm. So you you insure yourself against the thing failing, right? Well, I told you the Antarctica disaster. I got twenty thousand dollars back. Yeah, because you you went on he went on this. You know, he doesn't just go on put a lay around your neck cruises. Oh. You know, not, he doesn't do that kind of thing. I mean, he does do some of those, but. Well, that one was like, I think, 22 days in the from... Arctic. He hung out with penguins. <laughs> they smell. <laughs> I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Who knew? Who knew? I, actually, when you say they smell, it makes sense, doesn't it? Mm. I mean, they you know get poop all over their butt and they, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, are they that cute or, or does the cuteness go away when you smell them? They're bigger. No, than they're cute. Big. They waddle around, and you know. What was the name but, of that movie about the penguins? That not, it was just part of part part of the yeah. thing. Oh Don't yeah, they have a, a bunch of those in Central Park. What? In Central Park, there's a museum, right? That, which has the animals. Museum. The, well, the zoo and the natural the zoo. The children's museum, which yeah. I thought was always a just terrible place for a zoo. <laughs> You know, I know. I don't know if the natural habitat for a lion is, uh, you know, west, uh, the east side highway and 73rd Street. You know. <laughs> is it the Bronx Zoo off, you know, um, Moshalu Parkway? Come on. Yeah, but, but there's a lot of land up there. You don't get the same feel of city. With it, the, And I've been to the Bronx Zoo. It's actually very huge. And yeah, it's very huge. But I just don't think I. How, how many here believe in animals in cages now? Have we all changed our opinion of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I loved it when I was a kid, but I didn't know better. You know. None of us did. And whenever I hear about some lion keeper getting mauled, I go, "Good for the lion." <laughs> but then, what do they do? The lion is only acting in his natural predator way okay mm -hmm. and then when he mauls the the cage you know the zookeeper they shoot him yeah yep you know that should be yeah, it should be against like the, it's kind of like the whales when the that lady i think it was a woman that was yeah. killed by like a, a killer whale at sea world i'm like yeah. and you know like what well, yeah what part of killer and whale don't you understand yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, they, they're going to perform for the people in the audience, but oh, he accidentally killed one of the well keepers. 
Yeah. I had a woman, I, I went, used to go out with a woman who was in charge of a P, PR at Af, America, was it America, Africa, USA? Oh, great, great, great America. Yeah. Great America, great. USA. And she kept telling me that their, their take on it is, is this is educational for kids because you're never going to be able to see these animals in the wild. Uh, that's, I, that's, I, 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 and then they grow up and better. take a safari in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> and, and shoot well, and fun. Yeah, you, 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 Trump's kids love shooting yeah. animals. I mean, that that I never <clears throat> understood. That I never understood. You know, I mean, and they and they stage those animals too. They're not in the wild. Mm. No, they, there's a you know they got a guy who brings the elephant mm. yeah. up to them and like holds on to it while they pull out their rifle and start shooting. <laughs> oh, really? Is that what happens? They, yeah. Well, yeah, they, I don't know that for a fact, but that's but, kind of what goes I'm, on. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, they, they're not. Like, Jesus, I thought you were just going to give me peanuts. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, that's terrible that's terrible and I mean, there are certain animals who look like they're uh, having a good old time like giraffes giraffes look like they're having a fine time when they're in the zoo oh they got a good view <laughs> Some animal, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah but trump kids have killed giraffes yep yeah <clears throat> well, that's what is what is the thrill what is the sport in that i mean yeah. i don't understand it never made sense to me why would you do that God the, closest to, the closest thing to me like if you could say a zoo was good or something was when we went to orlando animal kingdom which is owned by disney yeah they had it was kind of like the setup was kind of like a safari they kind of at least had big yeah. places to roam so to yeah speak. but i did, did did they have like uh, predator animals roaming with non-predator animals no. i mean do no. they have lions and antelopes so. in the same cage? No, I doubt it. Of course, it wasn't a natural habitat with that. When they don't really get to feed their own instincts. Of, yeah. You know, prey where where in the food chain? Uh, uh, you know, we talk about the the you know the predator prey relationship. Where do humans place in that? I guess we're just pure predator, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're at the top. Yeah, unless huh. we don't have a gun, and then we're prey. Right. Well, it's funny how you say that. Has anybody watched Yellowstone? Has anybody been watching yeah, that show? Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah. Remember the episode where they go deer hunting with Tate, the son, and mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's season one or two. Yeah. And they talk about, you know, everything is gets killed, like everybody's killed. And John even says the tiniest little bacteria that you can't even see would could kill me. Mm -hmm. yeah. are in the food chain, I guess. But, but they say Amer they say Americans are the only people that hunt on a full stomach. Wow. No, they, yeah. they, they probably eat right. before they go hunt. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody else hunts for food to eat to yeah. survive. And that's well, if somebody be. if somebody hunts, I mean, I know we have to thin out the herd somewhat, but yeah. if somebody goes hunting and they don't take it home and have it cut up and eat it. Right. Then that's wrong. Yeah. If they yeah. just take, get it so they can cut off the head and mount it on their wall, forget it. Take yeah. pictures. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my ex husband, when he went hunting, he always at least got the deer meat and stuff, you know, said yeah. for us to eat. I mean, but wasn't that a lot of deer meat to eat? I mean, venison is decent. I mean, we had it, we would get it ground up and put it in spaghetti. I mean, oh, yeah. Really? I grew up on it. My dad was I like athlete. venison, deer, mm -hmm. and moose. Really, I can't stand it. I can't stand way better than what's available. I can't stand it. Well, if you don't like gamey stuff, well, that could be because I never, my parents never fed me gamey stuff. Yeah, if I were like Mike and and or or Mandy and my parents ground up deer into hamburger, so you put it in spaghetti, okay, I suppose I would have acquired a taste for that. In fact, whenever I would have it, would swoon simply because it was comfort food. Mm. You know. it's how you butcher it i mean like it's so lean you throw a little pork in there uh while they're butchering it and it's oh my god it's greatest i'll take that over any well i i had um did i was it in uh at the olympics in uh lillehammer i went next door every day and got these hamburgers that were just 
terrific hamburgers. Loved them. We ate them. We ate maybe four or five of them a day. That's how good they were. And I think they were reindeer. Were, they were made with reindeer. Oh, reindeer. Yeah. Really yeah. Food. yeah. And yeah, I never ate Rudolph. <laughs> I found that about uh, about two days after the, we were th almost through being there for the Olympics, and uh, I, I, that was the last uh, hamburger I had. <laughs> but I mean, all I'm saying is, is that this stuff this stuff becomes comfort food. My mother used to make tripe, and she used to make tongue. And when I tell people that, they go, Ugh. you know, and I don't blame them because I was I had to eat it. My mother made it. It was dinner. And liver so, and onions. Yeah. That was my comfort food growing really? up. Really? Yeah. Yeah. My mom made it all the time. It was wonderful. My mother used to make liver all the time. And to this day, I'm yeah. not used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love liver. It, yeah. The chicken I've livers, chicken livers, chopped chicken livers were okay. For the me. best. You know, but regular liver, eh, I don't know. You know, you know, I did well, get what's some regular liver? liver, beef? Beef. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Uh, what I got to like, though, and I still like it, is kidney. Ooh. You make yeah. me some kidneys in a, you know, for, uh, for okay. in a kidney pie. I love it. It's great. Terrific. Yes, I like to eat all the organs that would go wrong are going to go wrong in me. <laughs> <laughs> I used to eat help. chicken gizzards way back when. What? Yeah. Oh, I love chicken gizzards. I still yeah, make chicken them. Oh, Marjorie, yeah. she pukes every time I make them. <laughs> I, you got to boil them for an hour. They take forever to get tender. And do you think? Do you think that food is going out with the generations? Uh, no. I, so if sad. it were, then I want to know why there's so many chicken livers at the grocery store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then find me a deli in Manhattan. Mm. Don't exist. I think there's anymore. like fifteen left right. in Manhattan. Yeah. No, oh, there are only three left in Manhattan. Three? I thought it was 15. Really? Am I right, Jackie? It's three left in Manhattan. Well, you got Cats, the Second Avenue Deli. Um, oh. There are a couple up in the 80s. So there are a few more. Jackie, what, what, was that, what was that one? Oh, Ben's. Ben's. Ben's Deli. Ben's Deli. Oh, Ben's. There's a Ben's on 37th Street. Then Is you can the buy deli food at like Zay Bars and so on. Yeah. But yeah, you can, not get, a you can get that at Stu Leonard's. You can get it at a, you yeah. know wherever. But uh, but there used to be in Manhattan something like hundreds of mm. delicatessens, literally wow. hundreds. Are you saying there's no delis anymore in New York? There's about uh, <clears throat> we just named four of them. We can't name more than that. That's we only have one I left. Like on every corner. corner. Yeah, right. every corner. Yeah. Uh, what what was the one down near me? Uh, uh, the deli down near me when I used to live Katz's. in Katz's. So there's Katz's, Ben's, uh, Second Avenue Deli. Second Avenue what Deli. What's the stuff on Broadway? Sarge's. Sarge's? Where's Sarge's? Sarge's is 36th and 2nd. Really? I've never, I never been there. Huh. There used to be one right next to the movie theater on 86th Street. Um. You're going yes, Charlie. You've never been here, have you? No, no. I'm. I'm just. We had the same thing in Chicago, and, and I can't imagine not having a deli right down the street. Yeah. Well, you... Edward can tell you about Queens because he always goes to Ben's in Ben's, Bayside, yeah. but there's nothing else, right? Yeah. So you go to Ben's where? In then Bayside. Bayside. Okay, mm. there's one there. Right. Yeah, I mean, before we when we could start naming them off like crazy. Yes, yeah. Mike. Is the Hello Deli considered a deli? No. No. Okay, I didn't think so. That's not <laughs> no, no. That was funny, though. That was funny stuff. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, let me ask but you. That's, that's what I mean, right? I mean, right? No. Hello Deli. Hello Dolly. Think about it. Yeah, uh, that's what I mean, right? The the delis are going away. I mean, San Jose has only has a couple, but there's one really big, true one down at Willow Glen. But I mean, a lot of that kind of food, you know, with sub being substituted by all this junk fast food stuff, you know. Yeah, there was a great documentary on deli on delis in New York and how they spread out and where they are across the country. And mm. of course, the best place to get deli food if you want it is Russ and Daughters down on Second Avenue. And they were just right across the street from us. And we would go over there and, and buy some food for dinner and then have to take out a loan. <laughs> 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 I 
Well, I was looking at a Carnegie Deli menu from around 1960, and a pastrami <laughs> sandwich was two dollars. Mm. Wow, well, twenty five dollars. And that's still the same the business, Checky. No. Are they still open? No. No. Carnegie. They closed down. So, so the Carnegie. So the stage, so stage. 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 Yeah. Carnegie used to have sandwiches that were literally. Am I right, Checky? About this thick. Thicker. Uh, thicker. And yeah. you took yeah, one half of that. And and so you get a pastrami sandwich. It was like that. It was like fifteen dollars and whatever. You oh. never finish one of the things. You, you never took half of the number bowl. one. You they put it on two pieces of bread. Who can hold that in their mouth? <laughs> You know, maybe Martha Ray could have in her day, <laughs> but you couldn't. So you take the meat out and you just eat, you pick at the meat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you had it on the sandwich, the sandwich falls apart. Yeah, right. take it home the second half. I I used to know the guy who owned it. You had to know a good cardiologist just in case. <laughs> <laughs> on the way home. Comes with a side of defibrillator. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife teared up when she found out that place was closing. Yeah. When oh, no. We would always go there and split a sandwich and get a piece of cheesecake. And she, she, we were very sad when we found out that place was closing. What, what movie was filmed there? The Woody, Woody Allen, Allen movie. movie. No, no, that was wasn't that in stage? Broadway Danny Rose. No, that was Broadway Carnegie. Danny Rose. Right? I think that was the Carnegie. It I was the was stage. No, it was no stage. It was Carnegie. It was Carnegie. Was it Carnegie? Yeah. It was the Carnegie. <laughs> Were there all For those, Alex's late night show? This is how we argue on this show. <laughs> <laughs> You're full of shit, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the had, stage? It was a Wendy. Carnegie, you moron. What? <laughs> going you way back, you had Wendy's. What, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. Again. I, I said going way back, you had Wendy's. Yeah. Wendy's, yes, uh -huh. yes. I mean, wasn't it Lindy's cheesecake? Well, when I first moved here, I first moved here in Junior's. In, Junior's is cheesecake. Junior's. I, I first moved here in what seventy nine? Yeah, seventy nine. And the, you could throw a rock and hit a deli. I mean, you know, uh, we used to have a, uh, we used to have at, at WMCA, we had an account, well, a free account at the Carnegie because they mentioned the Carnegie constantly or did a little commercial form or whatever. And then we would just order every night what we wanted from the Carnegie before the show started. So that was just, you know, that was Gravy. that approach it. Huh? Gravy. Yeah, yeah. We used to trade out all kinds of stuff in those days, you know. Radio stations never paid to eat. You know, so. Um, but anyway, how's everything down in Georgia, Mandy? It's good. Yeah? They're dogs. They pulled it out. They did. I thought about you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh My daughter was football. living her best life down there and I call it the pot when, of COVID. When, when, it, when like they were sending me videos they, and thousands of people you know celebrating but when they yeah. won and i heard about it because uh i pay attention oh here we go louise zeitlin oh she's calling i'm sorry oh, louise, wow. I'm letting you wait hello louise are you there wait a minute she's connecting her audio she's never done it before and so oh. it just, it click on uh, audio there uh, louise and click on video yeah and connecting to audio well, well we'll see if she can find her audio maybe i can oh there we go she's connected to her audio now she's got to turn her audio on turn and video to her there audio. Oh, oh, there, she is. there she is hey louise Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It says meeting is being Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You got to turn your audio down, Louise. Louise. Turn your speaker off. Turn your speaker off. How's that? Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's good. That's <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. You gotta turn off the speaker, Louise. You 
Turn off Why the in the background? New Jeff Stein. <laughs> Oh, there's one born every minute, isn't there? Jeff, you feel me, I'm not, not the only nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> one born every minute, isn't there? Jeff, you feel me, I'm not the only nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Louise, what? Everybody's, I hear a lot of more noise. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know you do, Louise. Yeah. Louise, here's the reason why. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, just, uh, let me just mute her. Okay. Louise, what you've got to do, I said, oh boy. <sighs> uh, what you got to do is you've got to somehow turn off your speakers on your computer, but then of course you probably won't be able to hear us. So what you really need, how do you guys do it? It shouldn't be feeding back to her. It shouldn't feed back, yeah. Yeah. Unless well, she has the show on. Oh, you have yeah. the show on. Yeah, it's hard to turn it off. Turn the show yeah. off. Wherever you've got the show on, turn it off. Turn it off. Feeling yeah. good about yeah. yourself, Jeff? <laughs> good. I give up. Feeling good about yourself, There you are. <laughs> good. All you have to do is you've got the show on. Turn off Facebook. Turn off Facebook. Turn off Facebook. Just get rid of Facebook. Just hang up. Just... Kill Facebook. Hang up. No, 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 just turn off Facebook. That's all. All you have to do is Facebook. kill Facebook. Kill Facebook. No. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Louise, get back on here. Let me explain this to people. If you call, and you're welcome to call as long as you're willing to be pals with us, uh, because this is the nice show. Uh, you should uh, turn down, if you're watching us on like Facebook, kill Facebook, get rid of it. Don't have it on because that's going to do what happened to, to Louise. And we couldn't get you it. You can always watch it later. And we, we couldn't get her to understand because there were 20 of us at a time talking to her. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, but that's what you do. You don't, uh, it's like the old days when you used to call a radio show and they used to say, turn down your radio, please. Down <laughs> the reason they asked you to turn on your radio is because the shows were on seven second delays. And so people are going, they don't know whether you're talking to them. Who are you talking to now? And it's, it, it used to go crazy. What we did is we would always get rid of them. But, you know, I somehow try to technically talk them through it. <laughs> but Jeff knows what we're talking about. And he's gotten very good with it, by the way. Um, I learned. I was going to, I was going to. Bring it back. Oh, here she comes again. Wait a minute. Here she is again. Or oh, she was there. She was trying to get in. Louise, if you want to try again, try again. <gasps> Make sure that. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> Allergies. Oh, is that you? That was me. Oh, embarrassing the family again, huh? <laughs> Typhoid Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyway, is it too early to ask what you're doing for Christmas this year? <laughs> Um, you coming over for New Year's, Rick? <laughs> I probably have a cruise book. Oh, you always book a cruise during New Year because my cousins who live in Florida don't want to be home during Christmas and New Year's. Mm. Well, they're they the ones that go on the second? cruise, and so you join them on like this last one, you were joining them on the cruise, yeah. And I told you, I forgot if I mentioned it here, they had the woman come to their house to do the PCR test mm -hmm. before we got on the cruise. Mm -hmm. Really? Right, Djokovic. And I, and I had the results by the next morning. Right, Djokovic, wow. and tell him about that. He would be interested in knowing that they come to your house. Well, down there they did, you know. Could have Djokovic just bucks. gotten a PCR test and have done with it? Well, they no, still tested you. They still swabbed you at the dock, but this... I went there with the confidence that I'm negative. Yeah, but what I'm saying is the PCR test. Couldn't he have shown up in Australia with a PCR test? It said he was, you know, he would, didn't, didn't want the vaccination, but he took the swab. No, no they do that because those aren't the rules of Australia. Oh, okay. Exactly. Oh. And France and England are already saying he can't come in the country if he's not vaccinated. Yeah. So. so good luck for Wimbledon and French Open. Yeah. You're not going to win three of them this year. 
You're not going to break the record of 21. No, 20. <laughs> Wait a minute, Andy, you told me that that uh, that uh, two other people have 20. Federer, Nadal, and Djokovic all have won 20 Grand Slams. Now, how so can they all been... win 20 Grand, Grand Slams when that would have to take place over a period of 60 years? No, no they're four no. years. It's four, four a year. Years. But the Grand Slam is winning all of winning them. Winning all four, isn't it? No, it's no. four Grand Slam. They, they've won that many Grand Slam events. They each That's won 20, yeah, Grand Slam events. 20 Grand oh, Slams. Okay. Oh, so events. this was the chance okay. for Djokovic to get 21. But so far as winning all three of them in a row, who, four. who's done four. Four, four of them in a row? Who's One done here? I think Martina Navratilova might have. Federer has in his yeah. early days. Yeah. I think he did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how about Djokovic? I don't think so. No, he won three last year. He, oh, okay. He lost the U.S. Open. All right. Yeah. I don't know tennis very well. Mark Andre, still around? Is who? Who? Hey, Agassi. I love that guy. Agassi, Andre, Agassi. Had retired 20-some years ago. <laughs> <laughs> He's a father and living in Las Vegas. He's, He's on the scene. He's still the hair, though. He married Steffi Graf, which I thought was great. Yeah, Steffi Graf, yeah. yeah. Marjorie, did you play tennis? I played tennis. Yes, I did. Now I watch it. She was very sporty when she was young. <laughs> we, we would have never gotten along, except on um, Sundays, for instance, when she'd go out and play tennis, I could cheat on her. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play uh, Sundays. Okay, Sunday, so like, she could engage in sport. Yeah. Why can't I? You know, because <laughs> your racket is too small. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but those balls are incredible. <laughs> Mandy, what did you say? I was just gonna say, did you play the um, the like ladies recreational, or did you play like on a team in school? Oh, recreational, or? but it was a team. But it was recre. It was the lowest you could be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. I just, I was the same way. I was like C level, like just Sunday's ladies tennis. But some of those bitches. I was were probably so like tennis. F level. Well, you played it. it. You played it because you enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes. You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I, a, I, a, I I tried to tennis. Did you practice with a coach to show you where my mental never place got there. Is when it comes to something like tennis. I I played tennis only for a very short time, uh, and uh -huh. huh. And, and and it would it, it, I um yeah for a short time because I didn't like chasing the balls. How uh, short was it? Uh, <laughs> about, about two times, yeah. About three inches. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe now after the prostate operation, but you know. <laughs> <sighs> Back in the day. Back in the day. And this is the woman who says she loves me. Yeah. I would hate to think what the women who hate me are saying. <laughs> I haven't been on the last couple of weeks uh, due to uh, scheduling conflicts. Have you guys talked about the Golden Girls Sex in the City uh, phenomenon thing that has been released over the last little while? Sure. I've what? been watching it. It's so cringy. Okay, so the gals in the new Sex and the City reboot are older than the actresses who started in season one of The Golden Girls. <laughs> a show about <laughs> really? <laughs> Delightful, and I thought we could uh, get some mileage out of that on this panel. Yeah, the show sucks. Al Alex saw one of them. I didn't get up to uh, the part where he died. He said, please tell Alex I'm sorry. I just... The, the click message went away. Who's and calling? Thought hmm. last night's or last weekend's was the best one so far. The one with the tennis. We thought that was a good episode, but that was the first good episode of all. The You're episodes. right. The first one I actually laughed out loud finally. Yeah. When yeah, her yeah, date yeah. started puking on the sidewalk, that was pretty. Exactly. Funny. Yes. Yes. Very much so. And but anyway, but I don't even I know why I'm watching. Them. They're they're older than the Golden Girls were. When they started their, uh, their but movie. but but it, it's not a very good show, right? I assume. Yeah. It's it's not the same you know what I watched that I like? Anybody been watching The Peacemaker? I haven't seen that. It's on HBO Max. 
It's very good. It's a lot. I told you, I wrote you a note about it, Sheck. It's, it's, yeah, it's a Marvel comic, if I remember correctly. No, it's a DC. Oh, yeah, DC. It's one of the an offshoot from Suicide Squad, where he was the bad guy. Oh. And now he okay. comes home and, you know, everybody still thinks of him as a bad guy, but he's really not. It's very cool. funny. Yeah. Von Cena is awesome. I met him a couple of times in the wrestling world. He is so dynamic. That guy is really talented. Yeah, I never liked John Cena that much, but I like him in this. I really like him in this. Well, give it a try, Shecky. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a DC. Uh, take him to DC. Um, and James Gunn. It's uh, James Gunn. Yeah, it's the guy who did Guardians of the Galaxy. It's really good. Really yeah. good. Have you guys talked about, you guys talked about Afterlife before? <clears throat> oh, 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 yes. oh, very good show. Yeah, my God, my friend suggested it to me, and I lost my mom when I was very young. Yeah. So to watch that, man, I was, I know it's just really gut wrenching. Uh, and and he, wrote it, he wrote it. He wrote it. And he wrote it. Produced that, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the thing about it is, is that it. I think how he came up with it. He's been married for how long? Thirty years. Thirty years. Like Thirty years. Uh, I think one day he said to himself, "Well, how would I feel if my wife died?" Yeah. What? In other words, I think I don't think it's based on anything that happened to him, mm-hmm. but I think it was based on a fear what of what could happen to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all, all the. All the different characters and all the other things going on. It's just that the that hilarious side of it. Then you have his sarcasm and then the the deep the deep stuff in it. It's it's, yeah. it's, really it's about a guy whose wife dies and he just can't get over it. You know, right. I mean, he's watching videos of her on his computer all the time, and it's and I'm it's it's, it's maybe it, yeah. I'd say aside from uh, uh, extras, which I loved. Uh, it's the most it's the best show he's ever done. I yeah. agree. You know, but when it's you talk about poignancy, if you watch the last episode of Extras, it gets pretty poignant. Mm. You know, I mean, he knows how to do yeah. poignancy very well. Yeah, know? I was really, really very amazed about it. him. I, mean, I, I love, you know, when he's doing the award shows and just rips everybody up in Hollywood, and I like his humor. But then to see him on this side of everything, it's just, yeah, he's really good talent, I think. Yeah. yeah. Excellent talent. Um, and, um, and his job, his job is so funny, <laughs> you know, cause you go in this deep part, man. And I'm like, you know, really, really, you know, heartfelt on what he's talking about. And then him and his partner go to one of the houses and they start talking about, you know, the interviews for his newspaper and then you just get this bizarre side. It's so funny. Yeah. 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 It's, it, it's really a very good show. Very good show. It's on uh, Netflix and it's the last ep- season this year, which no, we, no. Don't, we don't think was as good as the first two. But also oh, three is the last season. I'm almost yeah. done with it. Yeah, but they yeah. do wrap it up very poignantly and very nicely. And it's a very oh, yeah. it's a sweet show. It's a sweet Look at this. We have a special guest today. Hey. 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 Uh, yeah. Boy, you, you got a full that's family. As, you got a full that's family. That's as much as you see of him ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I missed it. He, he's, oh, uh, well, that's as much as you see of him. Yeah. yeah. I watched the show back. <laughs> uh, he, he's how old now? He's uh 15. And I don't know, you can come here. Come here. I'm <laughs> six, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he's tall. Oh, I'm six, oh, I'm six four. Yeah. I'm six ball? four. And he's he's tall, but you know, he's not wow. biological, but when everybody sees him, they always say, Oh my god, he's got your height, you know. So mm-hmm. it's it's a good deal, you know. Do you think uh you think Adrian's gonna be tall? Oh yeah, she's gonna be tall. Yeah, she's ninety-eight percent. Taller than anybody in her yeah. class. <laughs> not older than six. Yeah. Wow, were, were you tall, Mandy? I don't. We can't tell how yeah. tall you are or not tall. How I'm tall? Like five six, but I was always real short as a kid. I was one of the shorter kids in the class. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. five six. My my daughters are only five five. And, and Marjorie, Marjorie used to Marjorie used to be six feet tall, but she's now <laughs> five three. <laughs> five six. I was five six. You were five six, and what are you now? Five three. Wow. If I stick around long enough, I'm going to be able to pick her up with tweezers. <laughs> but, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, you know, you think everybody's so tall. So I've met some people and then I see them in person. And it's like, I, <laughs> we'll, we'll go over a little bit here, but I never knew you were tall till you told me you were. I can't tell yeah. how tall you are. And Bender is like six five or six six. Right? Oh yes, he God. is. We yeah, met him. We, tall, yeah. You know, when we met when we met him in the village. 
We said, well, how will we know you? He said, you'll see. <laughs> and now, are you tall, Charlie? I'm six feet even. Okay. On, how, are, how tall are you, Mike? Six foot. How tall are you, Edward? I'm about five eight or five seven. <laughs> Probably should be shorter with that voice. That's right. Well, I'll try. I'll try and shrink for next week. When? About five ten. How about you, Jeff? I used to be five eight. <laughs> now I'm probably five six. Yeah, yeah. And Shecky, how tall? Eh, let's say five nine. Okay. Yeah, um, we'll say it. We won't believe it, but <laughs> no, uh, five nine. Uh, uh, I'm I, I'm still about six feet, maybe a little shorter now. And Scott Boddicker, how tall are you? Five nine and three quarters. See, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> That's we can't tell. I thought you might be taller, actually. You know, I had five seven on my license, and when I went to the doctor and my height lowered, I said, "How could that be? I was five seven. He said you were never five seven. <laughs> <laughs> I had on my license for years. <laughs> well, yeah, you had the the wrong age on your license for years too. So. <laughs> I'm never going to five six that. and a half, and I say five six. I guess. You're what? You're five? I'm five, six and a half, but I always just say five, six. Yeah. But you're on the tallish side, aren't you? I mean, that's kind of well, tall. I, mean, I think five, five is average. That's five, average. Yeah. 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 She, had her, she, had her, uh, she had her lifting flip flops on when I met her. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, uh, I love this. I just love this. It's just, it's just, uh, uh, I, you know, the reason I go over sometimes is I just have such a nice time with you people. Uh, you're, you're wonderful. And uh, it's good to have you as a, a panel and also as friends. And, and that's what makes this all so nice. And once again, we really haven't talked about politics. Isn't that nice? Yay. Isn't that good. wonderful? Isn't it just wonderful? To... You know, we didn't, we didn't talk about the Cowboys and the Niners yesterday either, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other show. Rub in, rub in. Yeah. Ah, that's another show. I'll wait we'll for have that. Football show sometime. Yeah, well, the Niners, the Niners uh, almost lost it, didn't they? Oh boy, it was close. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. How about oh, those Niners? See, I can say that. Out of the jaws of victory any day. Yeah, that was crazy. I've never seen anything like that before. What yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they're from San Francisco. What can I say? I'm yeah. from San Francisco. We're all pussies there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Hope we see you all next week. Yes, sir. Okay, everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll say goodbye, too, to the uh, audience. Bye-bye, yeah, everybody. Bye -bye.